what it is I'm doing right now is just re trying to call different family members, not just different family members, but people. I want to make sure that this thing is recording. Okay. Okay. All right. So one Your of the phone went dead on you. No, it wasn't going dead on me. What I realized what I was doing was I was talking about content creation and I wasn't doing what I was saying I was do, doing what I was gonna do. I was trying to like, all right, let me get on this camera and let's talk about the things we're gonna talk about because average everyday people are going to, you know, that maybe not key in but you know what I'm saying? Key into everything we're saying, but they're going to key into some things. And I was like, well, this is perfect content because we're talking about family life. Uh, but you were talking about, you know, big boy and what he was doing, you know what I'm saying, with his life. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that, you know, as a young man that he's coming up and going through because everybody, like you said, everybody was calling him bad, this, that, and other. And the boys well, nobody calling them bad that I know of. Yeah, well, they ain't call. They ain't tell me about that. Well, I was like, they because you, they was like, <laughs> but I was like, I was like, I I was more along the lines of like, uh, like when I I remember when he was still little, I took, I think I was like, I just started getting my VA benefits and stuff like that, and I took him to Walmart. And I bought him like a Ben Ten toy, and they oh, left him. Yeah, yeah, he he was a little bad when he would come to come. <laughs> yeah, he would. He, but... tried, he tried. He tried to jump in the pool. And your mama wouldn't let him go swimming, so he had a right outfit. <laughs> oh my God, he was he he would, but he but you know what? But he knew what he wanted. He knew what he wanted. That's because he was told. Mama told him that they were going swimming, and so that's what he was looking forward to. And when when they didn't go, he had a fit. He tried to go run and jump in the pool by himself. <laughs> yeah, that 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 will happen. The little boy, you know what I'm saying? But I realized that, you know, even create well, like with him, he he had his All right, I got you. I got you. So one of the things I'm doing right now is just conversate with uh, individuals and being a content creator because every day everybody has everyday things that go on. And I'm just calling random people and see who I can get on the phone with, who I can get to talk to. And this is my cousin, Yolanda, right now. But she got me on hold. Okay, you still there? I'm still here. Okay, let me get see if I can get back to my headphones. That was Antonio. He was telling me that he had got me a lot of coffee. Um, he worked at a truck stop. Hold on. I don't know why my headphones ain't on. Okay, I can hear you. Hello? Okay, I can hear you. I was trying to put it back on my headphones. It came off of my headphones for some reason when I got off the call. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get it to come back on the headphones. That way I can hear you better while I'm walking around. Yeah. It's connecting. He worked. He. But he became you know, like one thing about one thing about Big Boy. He did become he could be, he did become the man. I look around like I said at everybody like even. Yeah, it, it it's it's not like we used to be when we were kids. It not it's not like what we used to be when we were kids, because our kids don't connect like we did. Our parents, I guess, because they had less social media, 
to connect to uh, or mm-hmm. our kids. But our kids go different ways. The, our kids can be in a crowd right now and not recognize them, not, not recognize each each other as cousins. And that, yeah, you know, right. yeah, that's right. That's one of the things that always, you know, that kind of bothered me is because what happens when we go away? Because me and you, you know, we we we're not lived our lives, but we're not going to be here forever. You know, we hope to get at least 40 more years, 40, 40 or 50, let's get 50 more years out of the game. 50 more years yeah. out of the game. Well, we pray that we get 50 more years out of the game. But well, well, you know, I was always really big on family and my kids always look forward to having their cousins come over. Uh-huh. But as as they got older, you know, they wouldn't, they kind of, they went their own way. Yeah. And then one one of the things that's a, that's a shame is that like when we had when we was coming up we had Burns Park, we had a lot of things we did together as you know as youth is that you know those days even that you know when Burns Park had that old the old slide that would burn your ass, mm-hmm. burn your ass coming down it. But now going to Yasmin, Yasmin, she's at what is she what is she taking at uh what is she taking at uh, P View. She is um, doing a degree in architecture. architecture. So she is going to be a future architect in the Houston area. Um, her intention is to live in Houston. She said that she felt that if she started college out of state, that it would give her a better chance of feeling comfortable living in that area. So she decided to pick a school where she plans to live. I mean, Houston's a dope spot. You know me. I'm a. I'm a <laughs> it's uh, we have had her first semester of college. We went up there every every month. It was just something to do. We went to the fair, to the games. Every month we was going to Houston just for something. Something, and it's something. all. It's always something different to do from. And, uh, yes, and Tony was like, "We should move there," and I'm like, "Oh wow, well, I don't know." That that'll be like maybe, maybe because it's but, it, it's the view. Because for me, visiting there, it, it I, I have a friend. She still she still lives down there. It's it's a launching pad because uh, you get to think about it. Being in Houston, you can go from you you can go 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 to. It's never any restaurants that you're never gonna always eat at twice. It's never yeah, re- unless you just really just want to. There's never any things that you're gonna not just just Houston alone, but Texas and the connect connected city. I fell in love with Houston a long time ago because I realized that you know from there you can go and get on a cruise. You can be at your home, and then you don't have to fly nowhere to go nowhere. You can go catch a cruise. You can go catch a cruise in Galveston and mm-hmm. go from here to there and just you know visit and, vi- and be in places. So. I, I I get where Yasmin's come from. Yasmin's come from because it's it's so much to do. Even the mm-hmm. mall, the the mall, like uh, the Galleria Mall, that 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 had me oh. in trance. Oh yeah, we stayed in a hotel right uh, next to it because you know my job is in Houston, part of the VA. So I went there for a meeting, was and it, our hotel was right next to the mall. Was it the Sheraton? Was it the Sheraton? Sheraton? No, no. It was the, 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 it, it, in, but it was in walking distance from the mall. Was the hotel was it the hotel Derek? It wasn't not, nothing extremely expensive because you know the government was paying for it, but it was like a <laughs> so nice. It was a nice. It was hotel, a nice like, like the Hilton or something like that. It was probably. But it was close to. It was close to the mall. It was Sher- probably Sheraton. Sheraton is right across the street from it. Um, yeah, it, it was in walking distance. But when we were there for work, I didn't really get to experience Houston like I'm experiencing it now since Yasmin is in college and we know more places to go. Yeah. But you go to. We, I, was there work, I was there working, you know. Yeah. So yeah. we didn't get to do much. Have you been in Pabados? Um, No, we hadn't went there yet. You but gotta... we did go to this cool 
Brazilian steakhouse, and I felt like I just had stepped into Hollywood. <laughs> it, it, it was so nice. It, it was like they kept just bringing food. You had this card, and you would flip it, and they had every kind of steak, and they would just keep bringing it. They had it on these big uh, skewers, and they bring you want you want ribeye, you want sirloin, and they would just. I didn't know what it was and I was like oh sure sure so I had this big plate full of steak that I couldn't eat but now I know next time I go not to keep accepting all that food I don't be wanting to waste nothing but that steak house was fire was fire I think it was called Timmy Timmy Migas or something like that it was nice my my boss suggested that you know we went to see Yasmin and we got to hang out with him for a little while, my boss is actually out of Houston. Right on, my big boss. Your big boss, but you the big, yeah. but, but you the big boss here though, right? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> you said uh, uh, what? You mean? I'm a boss of my, of my life, but you mean as far as my job that I work? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say I'm a boss. I actually am just. We are considered information system security officers. Yeah. So I'm not over anybody. I'm just, that's just my job. Okay. You know, like I, I manage a facility, but I'm not, I'm nobody's boss. I'm more like an auditor. Okay. Okay. More like I'm an auditor. I audit the facility pretty much. Right on. Run a lot of reports and run audits and. All that kind of fun stuff, but I'm, it's something that you called me wanting to talk about being a creative, right? When I was in the middle of doing my manifestation work with my vision board and, hold, and one thing. Hold your, hold, hold your vision board up. Hold your vision board up. Cause that's a really yeah. important thing. We talk yeah, about. I, can you see it? Yeah, I can see what? it. It's dope. But the middle is the bingo. And I did this, me and a group of friends came together and we talked about oh, boy look like my words we talked about all the things that we were every year we get together and talk about you know what we're going to do for you know the year prior we'll talk about what we're going to do for the next year for january what goals we have things like that yeah. i was the first one i started i had a vision board party when we were new friends Mm-hmm. And I was going to start this business called Vision Success, one of my many ideas. But and something... I didn't I didn't go through with that one. What was it going to consist of? Well, it was just going to be, you know, at the beginning of the year, showing people how to vision success, how to set goals, how to mm-hmm. manifest it through vision boards and by seeing things, repeating it, writing it. I was going to teach people how to do that at whole vision board parties. I don't have a vision board, but, but, I, but I did write my stuff. I took a section off the wall. I had this everywhere. The list of things but, I, that I written down, that I had written down for myself. Because word is a word. Well, that's good. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's written down. It's written down. But one of the things, like, go ahead, go ahead, but go ahead. No, I'll uh, finish what you were saying. But one of the things, like I said, we were talking about earlier is it's very important to kind of have a vision and be in, and be intent, be intentional about the things we, you know, we do and say, of do. course. And yeah, you say you were you're gonna be in bed by like eight o'clock, eight eight twenty. It's eight twenty nine. I, I normally I'm I'm drinking water and um. That's why they have a lot of vitamins in it. So I think that's what still got me up. Mm. So hopefully I'll be able to sleep tonight because most of the time I don't sleep all the way through the night. Because your mind is going to it. But you, but you did start the chick. How many chickens do you have now? Well, a lot of them my dog has killed. But <laughs> I got about, I probably got about from 25 to 30 chickens. And you yank eggs from that. We talked about, you know. It, it did, and I did have a vision of what I wanted my chicken business to look like. Uh-huh. And it kind of it kind of changed. It became more of a therapy instead of a business. Uh-huh. Because for me, going out there feeding my chickens, it gives me something to look forward. 
I have a lot of stuff to look forward to, but those chickens, when I go out there, they like little kids, they come running and they have these different attitudes and personalities. They just a lot of fun. I was going to breed, but my chickens are so spoiled. I didn't want to have to separate them. Breeding is a whole process. Uh So I haven't wanted to separate them. I have three different pens. I bought them because you have to separate them if you want to have pair breed, but hadn't did it yet because my chickens are extremely spoiled. But I may, I don't know. But the only thing I've been doing is just selling eggs. And that's just kind of for me to recoup the price of the feed. Did you ever, like, did you ever get to that? Because I showed you, I, I always said, like I said, you... You had like the beat that beetle thing because you know, I, I like I said I I peeped in the homesteading because chickens still need a lot of protein. They yeah. need a lot of protein and they uh, mm-hmm. the one thing I, I was watching about a one one of the homesteaders I watched he he was using like a chicken coop where he would he would feed of course had to feed but he would use like this dragon system like this pinion that he would use on a dragging system and drag it across the yard and let them you know feed off the grass feed off. You know, the, the insects that would come into the pen. and that, one of, well, my, That's right. My chickens free range, so I don't have to do that. I just let them walk around my whole backyard. Right on. They have they have the whole backyard. They done messed up my porch, everything. What do you mean? You know, because yeah. they be on my back porch, and you know when a chicken around, what they, they gonna, you going to know they've been there. They poop. That's just like every bird. <laughs> just like every bird. So, just, so I am working on getting my uh, back porch kind of screened in so I can have a nice place to sit outside. Right now, it looks like return of the country. But it's okay. it ain't It ain't fancy, but it's mine, and it makes me happy when I walk out there, though. That's what's important. That's what's important to me. Somebody else may not feel the same way, but as long as it makes me and my husband happy, that's all I'm worried about. Yeah. He don't got no problem with it. You said, but like I said, but, one, of, one of the things I was realizing, I, I was watching this... Uh, um, well, of course, I watch a lot of Food Network, and they said that the real chicken eggs come orange. They have a lot of more, a lot more flavor. The or the chickens that we the chicken eggs we get here that we get in the in the store they they tend to be like They're watery. Watery. They, my kids, yes, when Yasmin get um, eggs from the store, she said, "Mama, what's wrong with these eggs? They watery, and the shell is so thin." I said, "You used to my farm eggs. Right, the shells are thick. They have a lot of flavor." People who buy eggs for me buy them because they know the difference. They have a lot of flavor. They taste good. Once you cut, do form fresh eggs, it's a, it's, it ain't, you just, it, you, you, you it's nothing take, that compared to that. I think, like I said, too, I, I thought about doing cows myself because a lot of, like I said, for me, I break out. I think I had, uh, I don't know, like it's not still black behind, but a lot of the milk that we get out there, because remember coming up as kids, if like mm-hmm. milk didn't have as much of a preservative, milk didn't last no two, three weeks. Milk nowadays lasts two or three weeks because of the preservatives they have in it. Mm-hmm. And it, I'm extremely allergic to it. And I, uh, I was watching uh, um, a video saying, talking about this lady. She was saying that in 1990, prior to that, I, I, I never had a problem with milk, but. 1990, 1991 is when they added this preservative to it that caused people to catch dermatitis. Dermatitis, and if you don't ever know as me, when I drink, sometimes I break out yeah, around. You, yeah, I, I know how you be breaking out with the white spots sometimes. White white spots. It turns red. It turns all this in the dermatitis, yeah. and it's because of the milk that we have. It's supposed to like it's not supposed it's not supposed to cause you that. And I watch my babies. You know what I'm saying? They. They have issues with milk and all this other. Kids are having a lot of because mm-hmm. we didn't have. And then peanuts. Who the hell is catching allergies? These many allergies from peanuts. Peanuts. It's in, probably but, the chemicals that are um, inside. You know, when they're growing them with the chemicals. I bet if they ate some that you grow in your garden organically, they probably wouldn't have as many, it's many um, pro- it's allergies. It's many allergies or whatever have you. And, and problems. It's the pe- it depends, but some people, peanuts will mess them up big time. Bad. And that's, that's it, but, you know, I'll be getting a beehive. I plan on having a beehive. That's why I put I put that on my board. That's why I have the, the picture of the bee mm-hmm. right there. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. That's, 
Yeah, and uh, that's why I put plot plot twist to be. You know, everything on my board is very intentional. Yeah. But uh, I will have bees. I took a, a class. Mm -hmm. I took a class. I learned how to be more calm. Bees are very loving, and you know, I carried them around and got familiar knowing not to fear them because they're not gonna sting you unless you get to, you know, mm -hmm. swinging so and doing all that kind of stuff. stuff. But bees are bees are not here to sting us. They just trying to do their job and go on back to the hive. Right on, and then yeah. then too, it's like they, the 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 plus behind that. I was watching. That too, really. Is so is we. I think we talked about that. Yeah. We talked about that because I've watched bees. I was like, I was like, that's a plus because you don't really know. You know, honey is a natural sugar. Is a natural it sugar. Is. is a natural sugar that that don't you know flood up your system, but you can get in your inside your system because the bees turn it in. I used to look at like bees. You know, like throw it, and the honey that we get. So most of the times in the store is honey sauce, like the stuff they sell you in the yeah. little packets. That's honey sauce. That's mixed it's, with corn syrup mm -hmm. and all that stuff, and it's flavored, so it's not really honey that yeah, you should be eating. Not. I buy local honey from local beekeepers now. Since I learned, you know, what beekeeping is, I'll only buy from beekeepers, mm -hmm. local beekeepers, because that's what's going to be good for us. That's what I put in my elderberry syrups that I make. Everything that I make has local honey. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. That this that's the that elderberry syrup keeping us well over here during this winter. What do you say? You keep so. So what is a what is what is it, what is it like? I said you said what do you still what are you calling your farm now? What is it? What, you have a website too or a page? Yeah, yeah. I'm I am working on it. Prosperity Farms. Prosperity Farms. And I most of the time when I sell stuff, I I'll do a pop up and say, hey, I got this available at this time. And as soon as I post it it's gone quick like right now i have people waiting for eggs because my chickens just ain't laying fast enough because it's cold outside yeah what are you feeding so them what, I, are, what are you what are you feeding them i feed them uh they free range and then i give them a mix of scratch grain and um feed like feed that's for like egg production yeah you i use so, they, i was watching someone so you give them egg shells too right I do. I do give them eggshells if they slow down laying. And sometimes some of them will start eating their eggs. So I save eggshells. Whenever I'm making cakes, mm -hmm. I'll bake my eggshells, grind them up, and I keep them to feed back to my chickens or I use them in my garden. So have you tried? One of the things I, I watch, you know, even though our brothers, you know what I'm saying, Christopher and, uh, and, and Kelton, they, have you ever tried using cow, calf milk and just cow, or calf, cow, calcium supplement to it? To the chicken? To the chicken, yeah. No, I don't give them milk. No, no, I no it's, 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 it's like a powder. It's like, it comes like in a powder, in a powder form. To, well, I do in the summer give them sometime electrolytes. Mm -hmm. But what I do, what I actually give them is the herbal teas that I make. If, mm -hmm. they, if I notice that they are sick, I'll give him the herbal teas because I had one chicken last winter. He he almost didn't make it. I started giving him my herbal tea that I make. He pulled through. He's still out there. He's still out there, but he was very sick. Right very on. sick. And it's, it's those chickens, they teach me a lot of life lessons, just dealing with life as a whole. Oh, Antonio at home. I see Antonio look like he pulling up. He might must have got out from work early. Right. I told him he he I'm getting off subject, but when you really want to do an interview that's really for your content, we can be specific and stay on. Let me see. Here's uh, the, here's the thing. It, it's now. I'm recording this now. Yeah, because I'm like we can be specific and talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. Because I do a lot of stuff, and I'm trying to. Each year, I try to work and focus on one thing so I won't be all over the place. Last year, I focused on just doing my teas, tinctures, and whatever came with healing, including healing myself. Mm -hmm. So that was something I had to do. Two people see me, oh, you know, you're loving this, but I had to do some healing, you know, because you never know what people go, go through behind the scenes because mm -hmm. I'm a busy person. So 
taking care of everybody else but wasn't taking care of me. Mm. So I decided to start doing that. Uh, That's why this is, if you see this, it has all about self-care, prioritizing my peace, you know, just things about me, because I almost veered to putting like my kids and my husband, but I'm like, no, this is going to be just about me this time. Because I'm always considering everybody else and not myself. So this board is about me and the things that I want to accomplish. I'm going to accomplish. Right on. So this year, I am standing on business. That's what they say, standing on business. business. That's one of the things that everybody's talking about. That's a new, that's the new saying, but we should be standing (laughs) on. Yeah, since that little boy was saying it, T.I. son, I stand on business. Business. You remember that? Did you Mm -hmm. see that? Yeah, he told you. stand on business. Well, he been, he should have been and choked that little boy out because he talked to that. <laughs> now, that's something else right there. I don't watch them people all the time, so I don't know. I don't know too much about them, but I saw that. I just saw a lot of stuff, but I be so busy. Like, I'm in here now, I really don't watch TV. I be doing my crafts or working on stuff, whatever. Reading, I'm trying to read more books. I have goals to... Like on my board, I got goals to finish. I think this year, I said I was going to at least do four books. And I think I'm going to exceed that because I'm reading two books right now at the same time. What are, you, what, are you re- what are you reading? Most of my books I like to read are about spirituality. So one that I'm reading is called Jambalaya. And um, my other book that I am reading, what is uh, what is the title of that one? It's uh, I have to look it up, but it's uh, it's centered on spirituality, pretty much. Okay. And then I got a whole lot of most of them about self care. Antonio, you got off early. Oh, uh, where are you? Brought uh, oh, there go your cousin. been asking about your parents. I'm talking to him online. Here go Antonio. Uh, <laughs> he like, show, like, show your face. Okay. Show your face. He, he told me, oh, I don't want to because so, he got on his work clothes. So it don't he matter. Don't just peep, peep in. Tell him to peep his head in. Crack his head in. Drag him yeah, in. I'm a, uh, oh, he got his friend with him. Let's see. Hey, honey. Oh. Talking to my cousin. Oh, this is the, uh, oh, y'all got the, a whole box. Oh, he got a lot of coffee cream. I'm gonna have enough coffee cream to last me for some years. What does he do? For, what do you do? What is he doing? What is, I'm not gonna ask where he's working at, but hold on, Antonio, make sure she close that door. Huh? Oh, but you can actually leave it in the garage because it's really cold and it's gonna stay good. Oh wow. <laughs> well. We uh, while I'm in the garage, I'll show you my new. Have you saw my new car? Uh-uh. Let me see. Ooh, I got that. It is on. dark. Oh, it's dope. Well, That's... you can't really see it. That's just the sign, and it's kind of dirty. What is it? What 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 was what what what's 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 what? what, 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 what? It's a Mercedes. Oh shit! You hey, you yeah. with Mercedes <laughs> on it, bro? <laughs> you said you gonna get you gonna yeah. feel that Mercedes Benz hey. leather. And I didn't even, I wouldn't even went that way. Tony was the one that encouraged me to do that. But I'm a, I think Antonio has come home and he wanted to talk to me. All right. Hey, what's up, Tony? <laughs> man, you like, I think, said, what's up? I, what's up? <laughs> what, what, what do you do, Pimp? I'm just trying to, we, we work yeah, with your mama. That's fact. You ain't so fair in a while, have you? Nah. He's oh. a, he was a kid when I like. But I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm going to end it with you so I can talk to them. All right. But we have to. I'm so happy that you called. I'm happy I'm called and too. I, you can't. You, my hair ain't combed. I ain't already. You got me all looking. But you, but you, but eyes. but it's reality. We going This is what okay. I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. I run it through interviews. It's like content creation because we'll never know what hits and what's gonna drag. Because one of the things I always say: nation building starts at home. Nation building starts yeah. at home, and the I, people people. It, don't, it sure. It sure do. I'm a. It do you right. So 
I'm going I'm to get, get off this line. No, it was good talking to you. All right, cuz. You be blessed. No, I love you. All right. You too. You take care of yourself.